What's up everybody, 915 man here today. Just gonna do a little DIY calc washer dripper. Just some products that I had at the house, leftover things, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do calc washer still. This is gonna be for my 24 gallon all-in-one tank, and uh, it's a lot of benefits for it. Basically learned my lesson when I used this in my uh, 20 gallon auto top off for my 120 gallon tank. Um, so what I'm gonna do is instead of using this in an auto top off reservoir, I just got a regular tea bottle and uh, drilled a hole in it. The tubing that I went with is actually from a repair that I was doing on a toilet. Uh, the tubing is you adjust the water flow in it and um, I didn't even use it so I decided to go ahead and use it for my project. The silicone is the Aquion brand. Didn't I didn't even know that it was a black silicone. I thought it was clear but this works out for me great. And I picked it up at PetSmart or Petco, one of those places. Um, it doesn't have to be pretty. Just put your tubing through there and then silicone it. The important thing is that it is watertight. Um, the cap, I didn't even use the cap. I thought I was gonna use it to uh, for the whole project. But if you have the cap on, um, it will not drip. And as you can see, it just has a little nozzle right there. You just adjust it, you know, and go from there. The calc washer that I'm going with is the BRS calc washer. I'm not using a whole lot, it's just like half a teaspoon. I may go ahead and increase it to a whole teaspoon later on, but a half a teaspoon for a 24 gallon tank should do just fine. Of course, the water you wanna use, you can use either tank water or regular RODI water. I know the popular method is just to throw it in your auto top off reservoir, but it just makes a big mess for me. Another thing that a lot of reefers are doing is adding vinegar. Vinegar is has a lot of uses and also it applies to using it in calc washer. Another thing that people are doing is making their own uh, calc washer. Basically you go to the store and you buy a couple of bags of pickling lime. I'm sure it lasts for a very long time but for me I'll just go ahead and uh, purchase it. I really don't like to mess around with it. Um, but I'm just going to buy it. I bought it from Polk Resupply. It's going to last me for a long time anyways. And as you can see, I'm just adjusting the flow. This is a little bit too fast. I, I actually dialed it down. Very, very slow drip. And uh, it'll drip in my tank for like a whole week and a half with just this little thing. And for me, that's good enough. Um, what I'm trying to do is just, you know, keep the calcium up, uh, get a little bit of coralline al algae in this tank and just purple up my rock. Keep things pretty easy with uh, just regular calc washer. But there's a lot of benefits of using calc washer. It's supposed to bind with the phosphates and then it gets taken out with your protein skimmer. Um, just a whole bunch of little things. I thought I'd make this little video for you guys. It's a real easy project to do. Basically, it's just a water bottle with some tubing and uh, something to adjust the flow. Um, and it's dripping into a high flow area. Well, guys, I'll just keep it short. End the video here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and you guys take care.